this immigration journey has had a major impact on who I am and what I'm doing today. My Canadian immigration story is so similar to just the traditional Canadian immigrant story of you come here, you really don't have any connections. I didn't speak the language. My parents only spoke a little bit of English. I have a responsibility to give these people the, and share my experiences about how I overcame some of the challenges initially. Canada definitely can do better in terms of welcoming newcomers into the country. Some advice I would give to newcomers coming to Canada and, and kind of thinking about the blockchain space, um, the sector, is um, definitely if they're thinking about it, they're, they're definitely on the right track. Meeting people, telling them why they should hire you, telling them what value you bring to the table, and being able to communicate and articulate that in a proper way, I think is, is one of the key things that I would tell a lot of the new immigrants in the space. Some form of Web3 and blockchain will be around a very long time. I think what we have done here is really try and achieve, in conjunction with the market players and the regulator, a balance of investor protection and innovation. Web3 goes beyond just crypto, digital assets, and modernizing our payments infrastructure and, and, um, uh, and taking out you know, middlemen when it comes to transacting. It also goes into our day-to-day, -day, everyday lives when it comes to how we use the internet. The earlier you get involved into this technology, I think you're going to see the opportunities are going to come and we need these new ideas that are going to create great innovations within the space. The time is now.